What's up viewers? In this video, I'm going to give y'all 8 nice tips to help you be a better player. These tips are simple, generally pretty quick to learn, and could be a great help to make you become the pro you've always wanted to be. Even if you consider yourself to be pretty decent at the game, with no need for such simple tips, don't cook away, because these tricks are helpful to pretty much anyone who isn't a blooming Joeek or Godak or something. Enjoy! The first two tips right off the bat is to never team and never hack. When you first play Surviv.io, teaming and or hacking is something that many noobs resort to to get easier dubs. When I first played Surviv.io, even I teamed a lot. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, and having a buddy to carry me in solos seemed like a pretty good deal. But don't do what I did because 1. you will get trolled on, 2. you will lose prestige, and 3. it's not nice to other players in your lobby. Fortunately, teamers are not as common, so even if you try to team, you'll probably get trolled on and killed by your supposed partner. Hacks are probably the most appealing to new players because they are supposed to give you easy dubs, but never hack because you will be hated and you might even get banned from the game. Point number 3 Loadout customization is very important in the game, but no part of the loadout is more important than your crosshair. This tip mainly applies to people who are streaming the game, but it is useful to have a good crosshair anyway. For example, not that long ago, I had this ginormous crosshair that took up a quarter of the screen. When I was using it, I thought it was pretty dope. But now I can't look back at my previous gameplay without quietly weeping inside. So don't make the same mistake that I did. Customize your crosshair and keep the crosshair small. Point number 4. This point is also helpful to streamers, but it is very important to general gameplay as well. When you start a game, press V. Just do it. It puts away that small map in the bottom left hand corner for that game and opens up a whole new world that would have otherwise been obscured by that obnoxious rectangle of madness. Instead of looking at the minimap, you can just press G, whatever keybind you have set your map to, and then you can see a much larger and better map of your lobby. Pros don't use the minimap, so you shouldn't either. Point number 5. Loot less. Many beginners spend half their game bouncing around the map looking for better guns, but the thing to keep in mind is that you will get much better loot by eliminating other players. When you join the lobby, grab a gun or two, then start heading to a popular spot on the map, like to the club or vector bunker in normal mode, or to the middle in desert. Remember not to play too aggressively though, since even the top kill games have moments where they stop to heal. Point number 6. Learn to quick switch. It is very hard to be good at the game if you do not know how to quick switch. It is pretty easy to learn and is as simple as this. First, keybind your switch guns action to your spacebar or some easy to access button. Make sure you have two one shot at a time guns in your inventory, like dual Mos and Nagants. Shoot the first gun, press the spacebar, or whatever button you switched it to, then shoot again, which would be the next gun. Don't use the scroll wheel for quick switching, and keep in mind that not all guns can quick switch well. For example, two M870s cannot quick switch, and a Mosin Negant has a bit of a delay after shooting. So start slow, and as you practice more, you will be able to quick switch faster and more consistently. Point number 7. Get good keybinds. This point is super important. Here's a little story. Once upon a time, I was playing Survive.io and they had a Naginata. I just got an epic schnepic kill and was quite low. So, not having keybinds as I was, I reached up to the top right to click the medkit, but missed. My Survive boy swung his Naginata and exploded a nearby barrel ending my game. The end. If I had keybinds, I could have just pressed a button to start healing, and all that trouble would have been avoided. Here are my keybinds. My bandages and medkits are keys 1 and 2 and sodas and pills are mouse buttons 4 and 5. I've also set the scroll wheel to change through scopes and spacebar to quick switch. You can definitely change or add more to your key binds, but this is just a simple example. Point number 8. Last but not least, it is important to know your gun tier lists. This comes through playing, but you can also learn them from watching videos. Different modes have different guns, and it is good to understand what you are doing. As a beginner, machine guns like the Vector, MAC-10, or the M1A1 are great options, and as you get better aim, you may lead into more just snipers and shotguns. Alright, that's it for me. If you have made it this far in the video, thanks a bunch, and maybe like or sub or join my Discord if you haven't already. If you have any questions, feel free to comment because I usually read them all. I hope you learned something, and I will see you soon.